Hi there. If you're interested in trying out voice acting or making a channel like me, you can find affiliate links to the equipment I use down in the description. I also have a merch store, so if you want to own some official Nix Moon Reads merch, you can go to the link in the description as well to get yourself some merch. Both funds made from you following the affiliate links and the merch shop help directly support the channel, and it would really mean a lot to me. Anyways, enjoy the video! Hey. Easy. It's just me. I got your voicemail. I let myself in with the spare key. I hope that's okay. No, don't get up. You've been through a lot. I, uh, I brought you this. <laughs> yeah, I still have it. This blanket got us through a lot of rough nights in college. Gosh, how many all-nighters did we use this for? Here. You're shaking like a leaf. Let me wrap this around you. Better? Of course I came. I mean, come on. You think I'm just gonna leave you here? To cry over some guy that's not even worth your time? It's okay to cry. You've seen me do it before. I mean, who was it that got me through the Haiti debacle? I was a hell of a lot worse off than you. But you didn't give up on me. And I'm not going to give up on you. So, you're stuck with me. I'm not going to say that. I mean, I'm sure Kelly already has, and so has your mom. Well, yeah, I do think you'll find someone. But I know right now you just want to be pissed off. So scream. Yell. Cry. Do whatever you need to do to feel better. Whatever will get you through this. <laughs> Why would you bring that up? For the record, it wasn't my fault. No, it wasn't. The only reason we were even out there was because you wanted to. I said it was a bad idea. Multiple times. Yeah, well, nearly falling off the cliff aside. It was some of the best stargazing ever. No, you didn't tell me. What did you wish for? Well, that came true. Me? Eh, my wish. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I'm not even really sure what it was. I'm pretty sure it didn't come true, so why bother talking about it? Curiosity killed the cat, you know? Hey, how are you feeling? Hey, how are you feeling? You want me to order some food? Or bust out the ice cream? Or do you want to talk about it? I'm here if you want to. Of course. All those thoughts in your brain, whatever it is that you need to get out, I'll listen to them. So, tell me what happened. Really? Yeah, that sounds like a deal breaker. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Breakups are never easy. Even if you know it's best in the long run, that still doesn't make it hurt less. It doesn't make things easier down the line. But I'm here for you. I'm not going anywhere. Long as it takes. Don't worry about that. I I've got my shifts covered. You just relax. You don't need to thank me. I told you. I've got you. Just let me take care of you, okay? Alright. Now, I brought something with me. Just for this one occasion. And I'm so glad I did. Ta-da! <laughs> I've been watching tutorials. I can braid your hair now without nodding it. I swear this time. Oh, hush up. Do you want me to brush your hair or not? That's what I thought. All right. Come here. I know I tell you this many times, but... Bestie, your hair is amazing looking. Well... 
Why do you keep asking that? It was four years ago. It doesn't matter if my wish came true or not. Not all shooting stars grant wishes, and that's fine. Do we have to talk about this? Okay, fine. If it will get you to just stop bringing it up. I... I wished for love. It was stupid. Foolish. I'm over it now, though. No, it's fine. I'm good. I just... I just really care about her a lot. But the timing was never right, you know? After a while, you just get used to the same routine. Getting up in the morning, making breakfast, getting to school, and seeing her in class, contemplating on if you want to talk to her or not, and then actually talking to her but never working up the courage to actually tell her how you feel. You get used to that routine and then leave. And by that point, what you have going with her, you don't want to lose and you don't want to risk telling her how you feel. You don't want to risk losing this great connection that you've already built with her. And by that point, you're so scared of what the consequences will be if you ask her that you don't want to go for it. You get scared to change things, and you just stay quiet and keep what you already have. I know, I know, no risk, no reward. You can't, you can't get far in life without taking a few risks, but is it really worth throwing away my best friend? I mean, if you didn't feel the same, what... Forget I said anything. No, 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 no. Forget I said anything. Just let me go back to brushing your hair and we can talk about something else. Just forget I said anything. Just... Uh... Yeah. It was you. It's always been you. But look, I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want to ruin what we have going between us right now. Let's just forget I said anything and move on, okay? Well, because I don't want to lose you in my life. That's what I mean. You're my best friend. And I can't imagine not talking to you or seeing you. I don't want to lose our friendship. It's like something really sacred to me. Very important. Like, something that I can't really live without. Besides... That was a long time ago. I'm fine with where I'm at. I cherish our friendship every single day. What did you just say? No, no, no. Say that again. Please, one more time. Just so I know I'm not hearing things. Do you... Do you mean that? You felt the same way? Why didn't you say anything? I've already answered this. I didn't say anything because I thought you only saw me as a friend. I didn't want to ruin anything. Look, this has been a rough night for you. If you're lonely... You're serious? I don't want to be a rebound. I just want to make that clear. I do not want to be a rebound. Not to you. If this is going to ruin what we have, then maybe it's better to just not change anything. Take it slow? Yeah, I guess I can do that. But can I, um... Is it okay if I at least hold your hand? No. I'm glad you did that. I've been wanting to do that for so long. <laughs> yeah. I guess it did come true after all. Can I, can I at least look at you, though? There are so many things I want to say about you that I held back to not make things weird, but... Can I just say these things? You have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Your smile is so beautiful and it brights up any dark room. And your laugh, your voice, it 
makes my heart flutter. And I'll be honest, just being this close to you, I'm getting butterflies. It feels like butterflies are going off in my stomach right now. Can I, can I kiss you again? I love you. Uh, yeah, let's let's just take things slow, but I kind of need a little more. Come here, you. <laughs>